server issues lock Gran Turismo 7 owners out of single player races. 30 hour outage highlights the problems with always online DRM. You know, longer than expected, server outages meant Gran Turismo 7 owners uh, haven't been able to access large portions of the single player game for more than a day. Aren't you glad you stuck with Soiny? Aren't you? Now, the scheduled server maintenance timed around the release of the uh, version 1.07 patch of the game was initially planned to last just two hours starting at 6 a.m. on Thursday morning. Yeah, Imagine being locked out of a single-player game because of server maintenance. Now, six hours later, though, the official Gran Turismo Twitter account noticed that due to an issue found in the update 1.07, we'll be extending the server's maintenance period. We will notify everyone as soon as possible and is likely to be completed. We apologize for this inconvenience and ask for your patience while we work to resolve the issue. As of this writing Friday morning, the server outage has extended to over 32 hours. While a version 1.08 patch is now available for download, the gameplay servers remain offline. So you can't even play your single player game because their servers are down. This is the future of gaming. So for many games, uh, players would still be able to access single-player content while the developers worked on issues with multiplayer servers. For Gran Turismo 7, though, the vast majority of the single-player game is also inaccessible during the server outage. The only, uh, only the music rally and world circuit modes, uh, plus unlocked solo races against the AI, are available offline. All portions of the game related to single-player progression, from licensed events to hot laps to missions and even car customization, are completely inaccessible. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed uh, not making any progress. Polyphony Digital's uh, Kazunori Yamauchi told ours during a preview event uh, that the persistent online connection was intended to serve as an anti-cheating tool. That's always the excuse they use. It was probably essentially important because developers uh, of to the developers because as ours uh, Jonathan uh, Gitlin put in his review, Gran Turismo Seven will try to tempt you to open your real wallet to buy in-game credits just more frequently than you might like. So the just like Diablo, the always online DRM was there to defend the integrity of the real money auction house. Even though once the real money auction house was gone, they kept the always online DRM for some reason. Ours, uh, Sam uh, Makkovich, also worried about this eventuality in a comment on that review, warning that there's a good amount of the campaign that has no significant attachment to online connectivity. And the fact that this do content doesn't work when servers go down is maddening and insulting. You guys keep buying it, though, so there you go. It's what you want. Acquiring an online collection for, for single-player content is especially galling for a, a major PlayStation exclusive. Yeah, remember um, remember when nobody cared when this was uniquely a PC problem? <laughs> I love this question, too. What happened, Soin? You, you used to be cool. Where were you guys in 2018? When, when they completely backstabbed all their business partners. Where were you for that, huh? And back in uh, current year minus nine, Sony scored a huge PR win by stressing how disc-based piss-poor games wouldn't perform any online checks while letting you play single-player content, contrasted with reports coming out of Microsoft. A twat from Sony at the time captures the moment it crows, uh, it crows about the thunderous, deafening applause it received simply by saying the PS4 disc-based games don't need to be connected online to play. They only did that to own Microsoft. They were planning on doing this from the start. Nearly nine years later, though, Sony is no longer drawing that applause. Instead, uh, hundreds of Gran Turismo 7 owners have been expressing their frustration by flooding Metacritic with 0 out of 10 user reviews. We warned you guys four years ago, if you still buy PlayStation products, you deserve what you get, man. No sympathy anymore. Now, Gran Turismo 7 is far from the only game to require an online connection for single-player content. Back in current year minus 5, Gran Turismo Sport was also extremely limited in offline mode, for instance. But Gran Turismo 7's extended server outage shines a bright spotlight on the practice. Yeah, And what's going to happen for preservation's sake when they shut the servers down for good in a few years? It also raises long-term preservation questions regarding how future players will be able to access Gran Turismo 7 when Sony eventually decides to shut down the game service for good. Well, thank you for asking the same question. I'm glad these guys are on top of things. But I know the answer, though. In the age of LOIV services and microtransactions and loot boxes, these companies don't want you going back to play the older games. They want you on their new game buying more loot boxes, like, like FIFA. They don't want you playing last year's game. They want you uh, paying for a new Ultimate Team this year. 
For now, Grant Tuzma Seven Noters tired of waiting to play the game uh, they thought the, uh, they bought are forced to look elsewhere for their racing fix. As E and Codemasters have cheekily twatted, Grid Legends is a game w- with cars in it that you can play right now. Imagine that. Man, if only they were on PC, they'd be able to find ways around it. Doesn't matter how much DRM they ram into PC games. Even Elden Ring was uh, cracked pretty quickly.